Now in this question then we're given the expression x cubed minus 2x squared minus 4x plus 8 and asked to find the remainder when this is divided by x minus 3 and x plus 2. Now when I do questions like this first of all I always find it easier just to say let f of x for instance be identical to this expression. Now because it asks us to find the remainder when it's divided by x minus 3 we don't have to do a long division. We don't have to divide x minus 3 in this just to find out what the remainder is. No, all you need to do is use the remainder theorem. And let me show you what that is just in case you've forgotten. The remainder theorem is that if f of x is divided by x minus a then the remainder is always equal to f of a. And also if f of x is divided by x plus a the remainder is f of minus a. So in this question then we're asked to find the remainder when we divide this by x minus 3. So all we need to do is just say that the remainder all right, is going to equal f of 3. That's using this version. We've got x minus 3 so a would be 3. So remainder is f of 3. And that means we just substitute x as 3 in here. So we've got 3 cubed minus 2 times 3 squared minus 4 times 3 plus the 8 and working that out you find that you get 5. So the remainder is 5. This is telling us by the way that x minus 3 is not a factor then of f of x. If it were a factor we'd expect the remainder to be 0. Okay that was part 1 of this question. Part 2 was to find the remainder when it's divided by x plus 2. So if dividing by x plus 2 the remainder would be f of negative 2. So in part 2 then to get that remainder, the remainder would equal f of negative 2. That's when we divide by x plus 2. So putting that through the expression up here, we have minus 2 cubed then, minus 2 multiplied by minus 2 all squared, minus 4 times minus 2, and then plus 8. And if you work that out, what you get is in fact 0. So that actually is telling me that x plus 2 would be a factor of f of x. Not that we were asked that at this stage, okay? We are just asked to work out the remainder. But that's a point in passing. Okay, well, hopefully you've been able to follow that, and that brings us to the end then of this part.